continue. Is it, it, and then, and then you know, like, what? I'll do that. Okay, so we're going to continue with the second problem. So we have 3y squared minus 3 over y squared minus 2. Again, and the, the process is the same in all of them. You have to factor, factor, and toss out, come on, factor, 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 and toss out. But the thing is, the hardest part here is factoring. That's why I told you last semester, way into the next semester, when we have to use factoring, you were complaining, that's hard, factoring is hard. Now we're using it, okay? So, this one is two terms. The greatest common factor is going to be three. All the time, we start by getting the greatest common factor, okay? So three goes out, then three y squared is there. Three times negative one is three. And y squared minus one is right there. Right away, you can tell this is gonna cancel this one. But if you keep working on it, keep factoring to both, both parts. This is y plus one, y minus one, y plus one, y minus one. And it's easier that way to see when that becomes a zero. So it cancels this one and this one, y cannot be negative one right away. This one and this one, y cannot be one. So when you cancel everything that is there, you set it to zero. I mean, once you, you cancel everything, you have just three, and you found this one, the answer is three. So your answer is going to be Okay, so far so good? Miss, yes. Do you highlight when it when it can't be, so when y cannot equal one and negative one? Well, no. now let me tell you, this is a good question. And the problems in the problems that are in the back of oh, well, I don't know when you look at the internet, I don't know if that condition is going to be there. But you have to keep that in mind. Because after this, we're going to be using functions like we were doing before and excluding the values. In calculus, this is all the time about the same situation. When that is no zero, you have a hole or you have an asymptote that is always there. So the more you get used to it and don't leave it alone, you don't forget about that one. Keep using it because then you're going to forget and it's gonna be for, for you it's going to be very hard to go to those questions next class, next year. Okay? That you make it part of the, of the of the answer. Okay. Okay. Make it part of the answer. Okay. So that's going to be um, the second problem. Now we're going to go through the third problem, which is. Yeah. I skipped the second one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me do the second one real fast. On the paper. Yeah. It's two. Mm -hmm. Uh, I put 20 right there in the paper. I was uh, I want to ask you to be can you right. correct it. So in that one you have 20 plus 40x and 20x in the bottom. You just have to factor the other 20. That's it. Some of them are very easy to factor. Some of them are not that easy. So 20 from times 1 plus 2x, 20x. So in this, this is a specific problem where she was asking me what. Um, you were asking me, when if, what if I cancel only a number? You know, that's fine. You don't have to say anything about when that going to be zero because 20 is 20, right? Only when you are canceling a variable is when you say when that cannot be zero. So then the answer is going to be 1 plus 2x over x for number 2. Okay? Let's go to number 4. 